What's good, everybody? It's your boy Billy Mac. We are here, here once again. Um, as you can see by the uh, uniform that I'm wearing, I'm gonna talk about sports today. Particularly, I got some special videos coming up. Um, we are officially around 18 weeks, roughly 18 weeks, from the start of the NFL season. Uh, this Thursday is the NFL draft. Unfortunately, the Cowboys do not have a first round pick. Nonetheless, I'm still going to watch and I'm still going to pay attention to what other teams are doing, especially the other teams, because I know the Cowboys, we need uh, our biggest needs are safety and defensive tackle. Um, I don't think there are any defensive tackles worthy of a second round pick unless some somebody falls and depending on who it is that falls they're falling for a reason trust me they're falling for a reason and then you know there aren't really you know from from the draft an analysis that I've conducted there aren't any first round safeties um which sucks because we do have a second round pick but it's late in the second we're literally six picks away from the third round, so whether those sa whether those second round safeties um, last until the end of the second round remains to be seen. Hopefully, they do. We got a couple in mind that we want, but um, that's what we're gunning for. But anyway, this video, this video is let you know what I got coming up. Uh, I'm going to do a review of the draft. Not gonna really. I'm gonna focus mainly on the mainly on the Cowboys. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, um, but I'm gonna review the draft, talk about the big picks, some of the big surprises, guys that I've paid attention to, and the teams that they've gone to. Um, I'll, I'll give little analyses on that. But most importantly, what I'm gonna do. This will be the third year I'm doing this, but this will be the first year I'm doing it in front of you all. I'm going to do the whole NFL schedule. I'm going to do every team, wins or, wins or losses. I'm going to do it from the get-go. You know what I mean? Um, it should take me about a week. Like I said, we're around 18 weeks. So what I might do either I'm going to do... I'm either going to do two teams a week or I'm just going to do it by division. Um, yeah, I'm, it's one of the one or the other. Definitely, I'm going to do it by division. So it'll be t it's either going to be two teams per week per division. For example, the NFC East is the Cowboys, Eagles, Giants, and Redskins. So I might do the Redskins and the Giants. The first week, then do the Cowboys and Eagles the next week. And then the next week, I'll probably do the NFC South, Falcons, Panthers, Buccaneers, and Saints. I might do the Saints and Falcons the next one week and then do the Buccaneers and the uh, Panthers the next week. It, it, you know, it, it, either that or I'm just going to do the whole division every week. Um, it might be easier to do the whole division every week because that means I only got to do eight weeks of videos it's gonna be tough i got my daughter's birthday coming up we also got to go out of town um for for we got to go to her hometown for something um and you know so it's gonna be tough but that's what's coming up on the channel like i said it's gonna be the third year i've done this i'm gonna see if original wants to do it with me Hopefully, I can get his analyses on this. Hopefully, he'll, you know, give me a cell phone video. We can, we can add him to the post or whatever. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. But that's all. That's all. This video is just to give you an update on what I'm doing, uh, sports wise. I know I've been putting out my college like crazy. But I, I, you know, we got the NBA playoffs still rolling on. Hey, if you need my, if you want my opinion, it's the Warriors until somebody can dethrone them. I don't think if there is one team in the East that can that has a chance to beat them. The only two teams in the East that I think have a chance of beating them. Oh, you know what? I just thought about something. I take that back. It's three teams in the East. 
Um, number one is the Celtics because Kyrie because Steph Curry don't want none of that Kyrie ever work because Clay's gonna have to guard Jason Tatum. I don't think Draymond's gonna be able to guard Jason Tatum. Dr- Draymond seems like he's lost a step. Maybe it's just because it, it ain't playoff time yet. But we shall see. The third team is Toronto. The only thing with Toronto is. Are they gonna really show up? You know what I'm saying. Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry, it stays stays injured. Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard acts like he don't even want to play basketball anymore. I mean, I don't know. It's the most nonchalant basketball player I've ever seen. He, he ain't he ain't on the same level as Tim Duncan. At least Tim Duncan, he do it with a frown on his face, but he still put up thirty and ten. <laughs> <coughs> 30 and 15 every night. You know what I mean? Excuse me, y'all. But there is a third team. And the reason I think this third team has a chance of beating the Warriors is simply because DeMarcus Cousins is out. Um, and that's Milwaukee. Because I don't, I, I don't know if Clay or Draymond can really shut... Um, Antetokounmpo, whatever, I think that's his name, Antetokounmpo, 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 the Greek freak. I don't know if one of them can shut the Greek freak down to where, you know, obviously his jump shot is not the best, so he's going, he's he's a slasher type player, so driving, going to the hole, driving to the rim is going to be his, his main thing, but until that happens, uh, you know, I, I, I we'll see, we'll see. But those are the three teams that I think have a decent shot of beating the Warriors. And I know some of y'all sitting at home like, so what? You you just not you just gonna count Houston out? Yes, yes, yes. I'm just gonna count Houston out. I will never forgive Mike D'Antoni for for running Kobe Bryant out of the league. I will never forgive him. I will never forgive him for that. You got, Kobe Bryant is in his. Even though he was in his mid thirties, he got the body of a four year old, a uh, forty year old. He's been playing since he was eighteen, and you gonna come in there, you gonna come into L A. and start running a, that running gun offense. It's, Mike D'Antoni, I, I I can't stand Mike D'Antoni. I don't understand how he still has a job in the NBA. I I really don't. He to me he isn't. He you know who Mike D'Antoni is the way Wade, Wade Phillips of the NBA. Wade Phillips is a great coach, but he is not a head coach. He just, for some reason, when it comes to head coaching, he just does not do well. But he is one hell of a coordinator. If you, if when, when it's his job to focus solely on the defense, his defense is top notch every single year. It does not matter when it comes to focusing on defense. Wade Phillips is always at the top of the league, and that's how I feel about Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni is not a head coach. He can he can coach offense like it like his life de- depended on it. He can coach offense all day long, but as far as being a head coach, no, I don't trust him. I'm sorry, I don't trust him. Houston, I'm sorry, I don't trust Mike D'Antoni. But anyway, that's all I got. Gave y'all my two cents on the NBA playoffs. Gave y'all an update on what's to come as far as the NFL is concerned. Uh, Please like, subscribe, share. Holla at your boy. It's Billy Mac. Peace.